Well, Sebastian's still in the war. We've got a succession problem and we're still coming to terms with Carol's death. Carol's son, Kshishrav, is already bitching. He wants a seat on the council. You're not really good at anything, mate. So we're giving him daddy's role of chancellor, basically making him our head diplomat. He is fucking piss weak compared to his father. He's comely, apparently, but fucking look at that haircut. What is that? Now I'm fucking sick of this war. We're at 95% war score. Please let this be it. We're an enforced demand that I'm going to get 150 prestige and he's going to pay me 69 in reparations. Good. That fucking war lasted three years. So with our newfound prestige, we've got to disinherit our son. Adam, you won't stay away from your mum's boobies. You are out of the will. Good. Felix now gets everything. Again. Good. Stop putting your cock in everywhere, Sebastian. Right? Just keep your hands off her. No, no, no. Keep your hands off her. <sighs> Carol's son has fucked up already. Don't, don't look away. I'm talking to you. My good for nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Jarl Schlachbik's claim to the chiefdom of Kuvjava. He's basically saying, oh no, no, you probably own that land too. Son of Carol Kshishnap, you fucking idiot. This Jarl has agreed to let our daughter marry matrilineally here and um, their kids will be piast. This is the best marriage ever. Good. Our prestige growth is very problematic. Let's hold a feast. 50 bucks, let's go. Oh, fucking Carol's son's back. This is a great feast. Well done, guys. And I can either take credit myself or I can say my wife deserves all the credit. I mean, it would be nice to give her the credit, but she already likes us. And let's face it, Sebastian is kind of the one who paid for it. Although, you know... Yes, I have done a great job, haven't I? Thank you. Oh, my wife's a little pissed at us. <laughs> She'll get over it. That's a lot of prestige. Okay, great. I can build shit. Point two. Fuck, dude, I'll take it. Build it. Okay, I could build two of them. Okay, do it. Do it. So in five years, we're going to have a big prestige boost. Eugenics has come of age. <laughs> All right, let's send her away. What's Jonesy studying? He's studying books. He looks like a Jonesy, doesn't he? You know, a lot of hair, but... 20 troubles. I'm obligated to attend the local WWE wrestling tournament. But the contestants have been delayed. There's a card of wine and there's a bookshelf of books. I'm Sebastian. I'm going to read the religious texts. Chieftain Eustace the second has had uh, three kids. Let's see if there's any inbreeding going on here. Uh, okay, she looks normal. This one's died of natural causes at three. What are natural causes at three? I suspect inbreeding. Charting the lands. If these mud banks were raked, it might make for more tillable soil. Oh, this is, yeah, that's true. You should rake these lands, make them more fertile. He's loving this, actually. Sebastian, he's loving this little trip to the forest. Hills and valleys, plains and lakes, highways and forest paths. I've seen it all in Chieftain's Ghost Brothers Realm, and my cartographers have been eagerly making notes and coal sketches of every site. Coal sketches? What's a coal sketch? Are we... What? I'm going to get one stewardship lifestyle perk. This has been a fantastic little trip. Oh, fuck. Carol's son again. So a neighbouring ruler here has just written us a note saying, To the cold-hearted High Chieftain Sebastian, who's not cold-hearted, he's fucking generous, I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, idiot Krzysztof Krzysław, and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. His job is literally to make us look good, and he's making us look dog shit. I, 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 I want somebody else. Oh my god, like, there's no one. Out <laughs> quarter a bunch of diplomatic morons. Oh, she's pregnant again! Again! Can we take a vow of celibacy? No! Oh, please. I don't want to be disinheriting again. We've spent so much of our renown on that shit. Great. We are now gout-ridden. They call it the disease of kings. My pregnant wife's coming to me. And she's, oh, you got me sympathies, uh, my lord. Uh, oh, thanks. I have a few ideas which might lessen your gout. She told me to undress and then kneel with my buttocks raised. That was awkward enough, but then I saw an instrument in the hand. Is that a fucking loot? Well, we did put something in her, so this might be payback. The enema turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst symptoms are alleviated. Excellent work, Kenna. Thank you for sticking that up my buttocks. She saved our life twice. We need them alive long enough. Oh, no! Fucking not another son. I've disinherited my whole fucking family here. Let's go, Oliver. Who we will have to disinherit immediately. Yeah, Oliver. You've upset me. You cried in the night, and so you are being disinherited. That is... Halving my renown constantly. It is such a waste of renown. Powerful vassal wants a position. Who's this? Well, she's a way better diplomat. You're in, lady. See you, son of Carol. You are dog shit. I want a council position. <laughs> Alright, we've been called to war from our ally. It would cost us 350 fame to decline the call to war, so we have to go to war here. Where the fuck even is this? Oh, great. It's okay. We're only fighting against a fucking king here. Let's raise our troops. Oh, this is just going to cost us the prestige we don't fucking have! 
Enemy army, great, let's take them down. All our kids receive more skill points, let's definitely do that. Oh, Jonesy improved his learning by three because I clicked that button. That's amazing. Palinka has come of age. So, Palinka's going to leave our family, but uh, we will have an alliance for a while, so that's good. We're running out of supplies here. Idiot Kshishwab, son of Carol, has somehow taken land off the dwarfs. Well done, Kshishwab. Fucking Carol's son is a never-ending pest, this guy. And he keeps challenging me publicly. And so what do I do? Do I just ignore him and steal his ideas? No, his ideas would be shit. Do I mock his bothersome nature? Um, do I comment on his copious cod piece? I'm going to comment on his cod piece to try and throw him off. Oh, I failed to manipulate him. Damn it. He was confident about his cod piece. <laughs> shit. Felix has come of age. He has shown great aptitude in battle tactics and the management of armies. Should he be fighting? I think I need to forbid it. Well, let's marry Felix off to a genetically robust lady. Oh, intelligent 16-year-old. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Eustace is the second. We're just going to get our generals up to nine. You can fight. I don't care if you die. That's fine. We can expand right now. We really can. We need to be doing that instead of fighting this stupid fucking war down here. We nearly won the war, which is great. Gout ridden. Okay, we're going to treat our gout again. After consulting the astronomical chart, she decided that we should bleed my armpits and temples. I feel better. Excellent work, Kenna. I love that scientific approach. Yes, victory. I got 75 prestige for all that. I've lost way more than that over this four-year war. Okay, we can finally expand towards Lublin. Take her, duchy! We're gonna go straight for the capital. Oh, no, 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 no. What's this? An ally has joined the war? For fuck's sake. Oh, they outnumber us just like that. Jesus. Okay, our allies need to come in too. Men, 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 manly men. How many you got? 400. How many you got? 1400. Fucking come on in. Oh, it's suddenly 6,000 versus 3,000. Okay, so we got a good shot here. <laughs> as long as my allies come this time. Oh, let's just take the capital. Let's hope this ends fast. Oh, we've been called to aid our allies in a defensive war. We have to answer it. Oh, we're in two wars now. What a clusterfuck. 62% war score. So Jonesy and Adam are having a fight. I don't have time for this fucking shit. We gotta win this war here and then we can worry about that war there. Jonesy comes of age. Look at him. <laughs> you need to take it easy on the venison, mate. He's a mastermind philosopher, though. He's gluttonous, as you can uh, as you can probably tell. He could marry a genius. He's got to marry Scrut. Jonesy and Scrut. Yeah, so we've won this war, thankfully. So we've got a lot of kids here who aren't getting shit. So let's... um, We're going to give Jonesy some land. We're going to give him Lublin. There you go, Jonesy. Lublin is yours. Don't eat all the food, mate. Jonesy's now insisting on council positions. He's uh, fucking getting needy. I want a seat on the council. Blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. I've just given you some fucking land and you're still fucking pissed. Oh, he's still pissed because he was disinherited. <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay, let's sway Jonesy. It's probably only going to take a handful of cupcakes. Yes. And that entire other war we were in has been invalidated. Excellent. Sebastian now has expanded his rule. Let's have a look at our progress towards Kingdom of Poland. We now have 11 of 19. So we need eight more de jure counties. So this is basically going to put us on a collision course against Upper Sicilia at some point in the future. I think it's time for a feast. We really need to keep our vassals happy. Fuck! Our daughter Sylvia, the drunk, has stumbled and knocked over an enormous cauldron. It's covered the room in a sea of fucking stew. Balinka's not happy. Her dress is fucked. Oh, there's no Maccas nearby. Everyone is fucking starving. <laughs> Giving in to his insatiable hunger, Chieftain Jonesy collapses to the floor, swallowing as much of the meaty mess as he can. <laughs> Jonesy, you fat fucker, what are you doing? Oh, that feast was a disaster. It's cost us money and prestige. So Sebastian the Hippie has survived typhus, gout, a bombardment of male heirs, a couple of wars, but will he ever live down that fucking feast? Oh! <laughs>